Three years ago, my classmates and I visited one of the most well-known sites of Cyprus, the Colossi Castle. First impression was great. It is a beautiful place of interest in West Limassol. After an interesting walk in and around it, and a few words about the history of the castle from our teacher, we concluded our visit. Before leaving, we passed from the shop to buy something to remind us of our visit. Unfortunately, we realized that the tiny shop was only selling a few books. No games, no souvenirs, and no books for kids. Returning to our school, we decided to do something about it. So, we submitted an application to the European Commission. Our goal was one, to create interesting and creative kids' materials for cultural heritage places around Europe. In September 2018, Little Sociopreneurs Project began. Five countries participated in the partnership. Cyprus, Bulgaria, Croatia, Slovenia and Catalonia, Spain. The first meeting was held in Cyprus at Panopole Media Primary School, giving us the opportunity to meet each other and create the concrete foundation of our work. Meanwhile, the students came across some new meanings like entrepreneurship, innovation, vision, startup creation, marketing, and so many other. Second meeting in Bulgaria in December 2018, meeting the little city of Rakovsky and the innovative school of Christas Mirneski. Our teachers had the chance to be trained in social entrepreneurship and meet local entrepreneurs from the city. A third meeting was held in Spain in May 2019. And guess what? This was amazing! Students from all schools of the partnership had the opportunity of seeing each other at the beautiful city of Balaguer. We played together. We followed the Catalanian curriculum in the classes of Vedruna Balaguer. We experienced their culture through eyes of local people. And the most amazing, we stayed with families there. This will be with us our whole life. The second year began with a visit in Ljubljana, Slovenia, the well-known kindergarten Galevice hosted our teachers for a week. We visited classes, we saw the little kids in action, and we met the traditions of the city. In addition, we found how the kindergarten promoted social entrepreneurship in their activities, and we met local organizations that boosted the entrepreneurial spirit of the country. Back in our schools, we began implementing the Social Entrepreneurship Guide. We went for a walk in our cities to discover the needs. We visited the most important cultural heritage places together with an official guide and we wrote down all of the important information. Back in class, we suggested innovative cultural products for kids in order to be sold at the cultural places shops. Are you wondering what we have created? Treasure hunts, memory games, puzzles, souvenirs, key rings, mugs, coloring books, stories, both printed and digital, educational games, and so we many other. We hope that the new products will help the kids come closer to the cultural heritage of Europe, when at the same time will create income for the cultural heritage places. Little Sociopreneurs Project ended in December 2020. The pandemic didn't stop us from moving on with our products creation, nor from hosting our meetings virtually. We met through the web twice, once in Croatia at the Bright Horizons School and once in Cyprus at Catopole Media A for the closing ceremony. The activities, the results, and the impact of our project were presented virtually to all the students, the teachers, and other stakeholders during the Social Entrepreneurship Festival. We feel so honored and happy to be participated in this innovative project. We hope that more schools will follow this path, identify the need, explore the opportunities, and create value for the world.